So the restoration of the uh, Frieden STW is complete. I'm going to uh, demo some of the uh, functionality of the machine. So from the serial number, I know this uh, machine was built in 1956 and happened to come with the uh, original manual uh, to teach you how to use the machine. So I'm going to do some of the pages in there so it explains what all the buttons do. And it starts, of course, with a simple addition. 3279 plus 1432 minus 804. So addition and sub subtraction. So uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So here is so how you put the decimal points. Those are actually just reminders, uh, visual reminders. They don't do anything. Uh, so we'll just set them with two decimal points everywhere. And off we go. 32.70. Well, let me clear the keyboard. Put that button down so it clears the keyboard after each operation. 32.79. So there's one, one number per column, right? And that clears the column and that locks the column. Okay, 32.79 big plus button and there you go it puts it right at the top plus uh, 14 32 plus there you go so that makes 4711 minus 8.04 so since uh, I have this lever down it clears the uh, keyboard automatically at each time so zero you just enter nothing so 8, nothing, 4, minus, bloom. And so the result is 39.07. Uh, but uh, since we did two additions and one subtraction, the counter has uh, 2 minus 1 has 1 remaining. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, multiplication, much more fun. So there's a little dial on the side of the multiplication, so you use this for one part of the multiplication and this for the other part. Uh, let's do the simple problem here. 235 times 54, 32. Uh, and so 54, 32. Uh, so now we have to set the um, decimal points a little differently. So it will be 235. So I put it right here the third number and I input it in this little side keyboard 235 I didn't put my decimal point correctly and here I have to add two decimal points here two decimal points here that makes four and I don't need to clear it because the multiplication button will do it for me so off we go 235 times 54 32 one two three Multiplication button, go. There we go. And it's one twenty-seven six five two zero. Uh, let's do a big one because those are really fun. Uh, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. And here, uh, put a lot of large numbers so it takes a while. All right, that's a good one. And you'll see how it does it. It does uh, successive addition of stuff. So it just keeps adding the right number of time in uh, the right uh, column as you would do in school to get the results. So this is this giant number here. Okay, done with the uh, multiplication. Uh, division. Uh, division doesn't use that thing over here. It's only on that side of the keyboard and there are actually two division buttons. We'll see why later, why that is. Uh, so you can choose the precision of your result. Uh, how many and numbers after a decimal will be in the result. So let's choose uh, three. 
which is the example uh, they give in the manual. Put a little tab here, and we are going to do 144, 38 divided by 12. That should be a, a piece of cake. Uh, so we uh, put the keyboard at two decimal points, that's right, and we are doing 144, 38. And here, uh, first let me uh, clear the clear the carriage here. Carriage here. Uh, I'm not sure if it would have done it automatically or not. 144, 38, but better safe than sorry. So here, uh, we are going to press Enter Dividend, and it's going to put it, to tabulate it correctly, it put it right over here, 144.38 for us. So it shifted it the right way, so it's going to be able to do the calculation with the right number of decimals. And there we are going to divide it by 12, 12, and we press two buttons here, this one and this one, and off we go. And so here's the result, 12.031, and here's the reminder, 00800. So let's, let's do it again, actually, with a big number and, and show you how it works. But it uh, basically does it, uh, let's, let's do a lot of decimals here, five decimals. And uh, it does it as you do in school, it's trial and error. So big number. Chip, enter dividend. Uh, this have been a little uh, too uh, uh, optimistic here. There will be too many numbers. Cannot do something that big. So let's try this. Okay, I'll give it a chance uh, to divide from over here. Uh, maybe not. And uh, we'll do uh, divide it by 12.44. All right. Divide. And so it's trying. It couldn't do it. Went until it had an overflow, and then now it continued to subtract. So it went first this way. Until it started to get an overflow, you heard the bell, which did the overflow. And then it went the other way until it got successive overflows and then shifted and gave us the result. So it just does consecutive subtraction in a very smart way for a mechanical machine. The next one is uh, one of my favorites. You might have seen it in the... Uh, actually, I showed it in the restoration video uh, before. It's the use of the repeat multiplication key here, which I think is a very cute mechanism. So let me go back to a normal state and a regular automatic erase. But it's, it's uh, how to multiply uh, by a number and keep that number in memory, which actually is an obvious in this machine because you saw that when it multiplies, it consumes the number. So you enter the number, which is our multiplier here, one. 25, and you press down that key, repetition key, and now we're you know, going to uh, you know, do all kind of multiplications with that uh, that number. So what do they say? 60, 65, and and three quarter. And I do the multiplication, and you will see that uh, the numbers will be consumed here, but they'll reappear at the end. Eat them, and poof. Back they come, and over here is the result over here. Uh, let's try another one. Uh, 32, oops, 32, not 1, 2, 5. Redo it. Multiplication again. And plum comes back. Pretty cute. And for the grand finale, we are going to do something complicated. Try to get uh, a square root calculated. Uh, and it's uh, slightly com complicated, so hopefully I won't screw it up. Uh, so we'll touch a lever we haven't touched yet. It's the uh, K 
counter reverse button so now when I do pluses it goes down and when I do minuses it goes up uh, so it did reverse the counter I need I'm told I need those two down and we're trying to get the square root of 150 150 is my decimal point over here and uh, in this weird method to extract square roots the method of 5 we start to multiply it by 5.0000 multiply so here it is and then I need my two hands so I'll, I'll put you over on the uh, on the tripod here and sorry for my beautiful hand here we go uh, so we need to clear this and do a keyboard clear and the idea is to uh, get into somewhat of a routine so you start by subtracting 5 and you do that until you run into an underflow so you do it. One, no underflow, then you add one to the left column. You do it. Underflow. Correct it. Then move the five to the next column. Five to the next column. Move one left. Try again. Subtract five, no underflow. Add one. No underflow. Add two. No underflow. Underflow. Correct it. Move the five over move one column and so on so one two slightly tedious isn't it all right so now with a little bit of luck i didn't screw it up completely and the answer is in the accumulator the square root of um, 150 should be 12.24774 whatever and actually let's check it so it's both on the keyboard and over here so let me copy this 12.24744 set Seven zero oh twelve 12 dot whatever two two four whatever by twelve dot two two four the same so I'm going to square that number off we go well we use the <laughs> full capability of that machine and you know we were pretty close, 149.9999999997 seven something. So I think we got the square root correct. All right, I think that's pushing it a bit. Uh, but uh, give a big hooray for the monstrous freedom calculator, STW10.